I was just about to do the intro and my left rods are gone. I'm just about cast my second rod in, um, just about to get me stuff set up and um, my rod's gone. So let's have a little look at this little jack. Well, that was a bit of luck, wasn't it? Um, I just put both rods in, cast them in. I was just sorting my gear out on the barra and then the um, my left rod went. Didn't have anything set up to film or anything, but it's only a little jack. But well, not bad for 15 minutes fishing, anyway. So, hope there's something a bit bigger in here. Um, yeah, but nice little start. Took me a um, sardine, a little sardine on. So, like I said, I've just put the rod back out now. And um, see if anything else takes the bait. It's Saturday morning, I'm in crew um, on this pit, um, doing a bit of pike fishing and as you've just seen I've just had one, um, good start. I've got a uh, weekend this weekend where I've got two days fishing because the missus is working so today um, I thought I'll do a bank session. I have not done a bank session for ages so it feels nice just to have a bit more of a children on the boat and then tomorrow on Sunday I am meeting Stu and we're back on the Mere on the boat for another session so the order of the day today is um, two dead baits out allowed three rods on here two dead baits out and then my third rod because I've not got one anymore for pike fishing because it went over the edge of the boat um, I'm going to do a bit of spinning so that and I'm just going to do two hours in a spot it's quite empty to late today I think there's only three cars so I've got a few spots I want to fish um, I wanted to fish peg two, um, but there's somebody in it. So I've jumped on this double swim, peg three and four, and then the next swim I want to do is behind me, um, peg five, and then I'm going to go over the other side. It depends what happens. If I keep getting runs in certain swims, I might just stay there. I don't know. I'm going to be a bit more of a chill today because it's hard work on the boat, so I really do fancy just having a little chill and um, let's just, see, just see what happens. Never pike fished on here. Done a bit of carp fishing, not many, not much. Never had anything else except for a few tench, but um, I've seen pike in the margins, so I know they're in here. But how big? Anyone's guess. So this is the first swim. Um, double swim, as I said, peg three and four, this one. Uh, I'm just going to sort my barrow out, get my chair out, kick back and have a, have a little chill and a coffee see what happens I'm just gonna keep moving the bungs around I have brought me bait boat um, in that bag just because I want to fish peg five and I'll show you but there's a load of bulrushes on the left because it's the end swim and I fancy trying to um, try a few spots around there and save recasting the baits and wrecking my sardines I thought I'll just bait boat them out and you get a bit longer out your bait um, and I might even try over the far bank because there's no one there. But anyway, we'll see. We'll see later. We'll see what happens. I'll show you at rig I'm using after a bit of a change and on the boat. I don't know if you can see that, but I'm only fishing a few rad lengths out at the moment. Yeah, it's about, I think I'm fishing about 11 or 12 foot deep and I'm just over depth. So it's probably 9 or 10 foot deep. Um, well deep enough for pike like well I know in the middle it's like 20 odd foot so we'll just see what happens just gonna just gonna keep moving them around do a bit of spinning see if we can nick a fish another one all right catch you in a bit I'm just gonna grab a coffee sort my gear out So as you just seen, just had this little jack on a lure. I had um, a bit of a drop, a bit of a funny. Just keep it behind me, bung. Where's it gone? Oh, there it is behind me, chair. Um, I had a bit of a funny 
run on my bung, on my dead bait, and then um, I think it dropped it because uh, I, I reeled in, there was nothing there. So I kept putting me, um, I had a proper spinner on, trying to get a take, couldn't swap my spinner to a um, paddle tail, three casts later, little one, bloody well savaged it as well. So, only a little thing again, but good fun. It's only, um, only been fishing an hour and two, um, two fish. So hopefully we'll just keep getting a few runs and then a bigger one will come along. Keep looking away because I'm just keeping my eye, eye on my bung. So yeah, nice little jacky. And um, we'll get it back. See if anything else comes along. I don't know what to do because um, I don't have any people are booked on. We're about 10 o'clock, half nine, 10 o'clock. The new intake comes in for the for the 24 hours. So I'd rather move swims or stay here. I might just stay here and see, take a chance where people go. I just want to fish that peg five. So somebody jumps in the peg five. I'll be gutted. Saying that, if they want to get in this double swim, I'll move for them. I'm not bothered. I'll move down. Anyway, let's get it back and uh, carry on spinning. Here, another one, another one on the little rod. Same spot, just from the bull rushes. Um, smashed it again. Close in, only a tight. Maybe even be bloody same fish. I don't know. But, uh, all good fun. Bloody wires in the way. Come on. Uh, little wriggler. <laughs> Another little jacky. All good like I said, all good fun though on the lures is cracking. Never been into lure fishing at all until started fishing that mere and we was having more action and never it's never really produced me, probably because I've never given it a good go, but yeah, lovely colours. I think it's only about 20 minutes, 15 minutes since you had my last one. So I'm gonna get back, carry on lure fishing. May as well, it's producing. So I think I'm going to be um, moving swims in five or ten minutes. It's just ten o'clock now. I'm just keeping my eye on my bung still. Um, yeah, it's just ten o'clock. I said I was going to do two hours. I have had a few, I've had three fish in here, I can't complain. But I've been having a good lure fish and I've not had anything for a while. So nothing's been nibbling the dead baits. So I think I might have used up, used the fish up in this swim. So I think I fancy a fancy peg five to my left where the wind's pushing down into. Plus there's a load of bull rushes down because it's the to the end swim. So I fancy sticking a dead bait down there, seeing what happens. And if nothing, I might go around the other side. There's also a channel, I don't know what swim is. There's a like a channel swim that goes between the other half of the pond. And um, when I tried catfish that the other, last year, there was jacks and pike striking there. So I do fancy that swim. It's a bit of a walk, but I'm only traveling light and I've got my barrow, so I'm not bothered. So yeah, quick brew now, and then we'll move swims. So just before the casting, it might be a good 
chance to uh, see what rig I'm using. So basically just using a bung, a uh, bit of an uptrace, uh, what do they call them, olivette, and then that one's got a whiting on with a circle look. So that is basically my rig. I've changed it slightly because I'm going on the boat tomorrow. So I'm going to use that rig on the boat. I probably would have just fished ledged with a running rig this today, but I just can't be bothered swapping all my stuff over again for in the morning. So that is the rig. And I'm going to get the rods out now because we're on peg five. Not sure if you can see that, but just fishing pretty close in for now. Uh, just going to try the margins for 20 minutes. That doesn't produce. I'm going to put the left one down there on that margin, I think. Um, see what happens anyway. Give it a give it a 20 minutes here. Have a little lure fish. See if we can knit one. <laughs> Just had a move, uh, it was freezing down that end. The bloody wind was howling, and then um, bloody rain come. Anyway, I'd had nothing, I'd had a good chuck around with the lure, um, so yeah, I moved. <clears throat> and I've come to peg one. Now, this is a little tiny day peg, you've only got a tiny bit of water, but it does look quite pikey. Um, so, I'm just gonna have a few casts around here for an hour. Um, it's a bit shallower as well by, by the looks of it. I can't remember, don't think I've ever fished this swim. But um, yeah, I'm just gonna have a little cast around <coughs> for an hour. And then if nothing's doing, I'm gonna go to the other side of the island, go right round the lake and fish the channel. There's a few people turned up, so all this to me left now. Peg three's gone, so I'm gonna stay away from there. I'm going to go and fish, I'm not sure what number peg it is, but there's one the other side of the bank, the other side of the um, island. So I'm going to try and get on there after. I'm just going to keep moving round until something happens. Three times that took then to catch that. Three times it hit me lure just as I was reeling in. Um, really wanted that lure. Anyway, got to, got me two dead baits out. So I'm gonna carry on lure fishing. The guy to me left on peg two is just packing up as well. So I'm gonna sit it out here and then I'm gonna have a dabble in peg two while it's just next to me. Be rude not to, wouldn't it? So I, was, I think it's about 12 o'clock, half 12 now. So yeah, first, first few casts that was then mad on my um, my silver one my silver paddle tail again but yeah it's bloody awkward to look like it was that small that the trebles were like pen, pinning its mouth shut but i managed it was a bit a bit fiddly i think sometimes the smaller ones are bloody harder to unlock than the bigger ones
Well, you're just seeing that on the dead bait rod. Fish number five. It's only a small one again, but I'm having a bit of fun anyway. Betting them blanket on them here. I think you only had one fish in the last three um, last three visits. Stu's done all right, but I've struggled. And it's nice to get one on a dead bait as well. A um, little bit, tiny bit bigger. Which, um, lovely fish all, all the same. Cracker. So the guy next to me on two has just packed up. So I'm going to give it another 20 minutes, I think, here. And then, if no one jumps in that swim, swim I should say, I'm going to give... Oh, I'm going to give peg two a go. And then probably finish off around the other side. But we'll see how it goes. Um, yeah, so, great. On the smelt, that changed over to a smelt and it went within 10-15 minutes I always think that bait doesn't make that much difference if the pike are hungry but I don't know I've swapped spinners today and then literally got one three casts later swapped dead baits 15 minutes later caught one I don't know I don't know but anyway just keep moving and changing bait and see what happens all right, let's see if we can get another one. I think it's about one o'clock now, so I'm going to grab some eat and um, have a brew out with flask and then think about moving swims. Right, let's get it back. Just moved to peg two. It's a bit later than I thought actually, it's quarter to two. So if I get some action here, I might just see the day out here now. It'll be going about half four, five o'clock or something. If nothing happens within an hour, I'm gonna to go to the far side and finish the day off there, but it's a bit of a trek, but for the for sake of an hour's fishing, but if nothing's happening, it's dead. I'm gonna to have to. So we'll see what happens. I'm just gonna start off in the margins nothing happens I'm going to just move keep going a bit further out so I'll give it 20 minutes for a recast now That was a bit bizarre. Uh, I was just sat there, I was thinking, oh, don't think there's out here. And then the bung started dipping a couple of times. And next minute it just took off like a carp run. Uh, and I didn't know whether it was striking or not anyway. I, I reeled into it and I shouldn't have, I should have left it, but I'm scared of them swallowing the hook. So I had to hit it really. But I reeled it in, there was no teeth marks on it. And then as a real that with it, my right rod started bobbing. And then it just dropped it. I don't know why, what happened, but it just dropped it. And I thought, I left it and left it thinking it's going to come back. But no, nothing. And I reeled that one in, there's no teeth marks on that either. Strange.
probably my last fish of the day. Um, going home soon. It's time to go home. Um, been a been a cracking day to be honest. Um, enjoyed it. Enjoyed having a chill out. I love the bulk fishing. But well, this was nice, just a slot in between and uh, get a few runs. Lost a couple, well, missed a couple of runs, but I think there's quite a few jacks near, so I'm not too worried. So anyway, I'm going to sign off here, just going to reel my rods in and come on. And um, tomorrow I've got the bolt session with Stu, so we'll see how we get on there as well. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you next time.